In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a very interesting problem insert delete get random in O1. So, in this problem, we have to design a data structure that supports all the following operation in average O1 time, and the operations are insert, remove, and get random. So, when this method is called insert, we have to insert an item value to the set if it is not present when this method remove is called we have to remove an item from this set if it is present and when get random is called it returns a random element from current set of element and each element must have the same probability of being returned so let's understand this problem statement through an example so in this example so imagine all these three methods are implemented in this class randomize set and uh, f to access these method we have to first create an object so we first created an object of this class and then we can call this these method in any order so in this example here a set of instructions are given and let's understand them so first when this method is called with an argument one so it in insert one as it is not present then uh, th this remove method is called and again i am uh, reiterating so uh, the uh, method can be called in any order it is just for an explanation purpose and when uh, remove method is called with argument two so two is not present so what it does it it does not do anything and it return false that this is not a valid operation and in this case we return true as we have inserted one successfully then uh, this operation insert two so two is not present so let's insert them and return true which indicates that this operation is uh, successfully done then uh, when get random is called so we can return any of the element either one or two so i mean each element must have the same probability so if one is returned then immediately if we call get random it will return to i mean in uh, so basically uh, we don't have any weightage on any element it can be uh, all the element have the same probability of being returned so get random should ret return either one or two randomly then uh, we call this method remove uh, with an argument one so one is there so we remove them and we return true uh, true that this operation is successfully done then uh, the next call is to insert two and two is already there so we don't have to insert this element we simply return false and then get random is called only one element is there so we return this element so this is the problem statement and now let's think which data structure we choose uh, so that we can perform all the all these operation in o1 time complexity in this problem we have to implement insert remove get random in constant time so let's first discuss which data structure should we use to solve this problem in constant time then we will discuss its code so the first data structure which comes in our mind is uh, can we solve this problem by using hash map or hash set using hash map and hash set we can implement insert and remove operation in constant time but what about get random so to implement get random we have to choose random index and return the element present at that index but hash map and hash set does not have the concept of indexes so we can't implement get random in constant time by using hash map and hash set so let's move to uh, another data structure so what about array list if we use array list can we do all the operation in o1 so by using array list we can implement insert and get random in o1 array list is a dynamic size array so what we can do is whenever this insert method is called so we can uh, we can insert an element at the end of this array list so first one is inserted then two then three in this way we can do the insert operation in o1 and whenever this get random method is called we can choose random index from the available indexes and return the element present at that index so in this way these two operation will be done in o1 but what about remove methods removing an element from an array list takes o n time complexity so we can't use array list as well so what about if we use these two data structure together to solve this problem in o1 so the idea here is to 
insert each element in an array list and in hash map we put each element and its index and element index is the index which is present in array list and using this strategy we can implement all these three operations in o1 so let's discuss one by one how we can implement them in o1 and let's visualize it let's visualize how we can solve this problem in o1 time complexity using hash map and array list so what we can do is we can visualize this approach uh, by taking following instructions so where i represent insert r represent remove and gr represent get random method call and in each method call let's see how we can uh, do the operations in o1 time complexity so now uh, uh, this thing is clear that whenever we create an object of this class the constructor is called and we create an object of hash map uh, array list and uh, this random uh, random class so in map we store uh, we keep key and value pair of int type in list we store list of integers and this random math uh, this random class is used to uh, get the random value between 0 to array length minus 1 so now when this insert operations this insert method is called with the argument one so first thing we check is so if this element this one is present in a map if it is then we have to return false i mean we have if if this element is already present we don't need to insert them else what we have to do is let's put them in a map so we put them at zeroth index and then we put put them in a map so we first put them in an array list and is it at it is at zeroth index and then we put them in a map with uh, with the value with this element and this index so index is zero then we return true so now the next operation is remove two so first we check is two is present so is two is already present then we can able to remove it else simply return false so when we check is two is present in a map no so we return false so now you can see this i mean this lookup is constant this addition so adding an element in an array list is also constant and this put operations is also in constant time similarly when we are going to remove an element we first check them in a map so it is not present in a map so it's a constant operation so we simply return false then uh, the next operation then the next method call is insert with the value 2 so again we check so it is not present in a map and we first inserted them in an array list so its index value is 1 then we inserted them in a map with this index value now the next method call is get random so now we have to uh, randomly pick any index and return the element present in this uh, present at this index so we can get any index out of 0 and 1 so let's suppose we get index 1 so we return 2 and I'll show you the code of uh, get random method uh, shortly so now let's move to next operation so the next operation next method call is uh, remove with the value 1 so again we check is this element present in a map yes so this condition is a skip then what we so we are using a very clever technique here so that uh, removing an element from error list is also constant so what we are doing is we are first getting the index of this element from a hash map so we get its index which is zero then we are getting the last element from the array list and why we are getting it you understand shortly so we are getting it so we get two and then at this index so we have to remove this index the element present at zeroth index so we put two here so we put this two at this index and this to remain as it is and then uh, we update its index value in the hash map as well and then we remove 
this entry so this value as we have to remove uh, one and also we remove the last element from the uh, array list so in this way removing an array list uh, removing an element from an array list is in constant time is in o1 if we remove the element from a uh, from let's say from from this index from zeroth index then we need to shift the element one step otherwise uh, this space uh, remains empty so it's a i mean a dynamic array so it will uh, fix this size and in this in 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 this operation it will take o n time so that's why we have used this clever technique and now this entry is removed this entry is removed so one is removed from both the array list and hash map so now the next operation so keeping the indexes in hash map has the advantage so when we get one in constant time we know that uh, this element is present at this index we simply go there we uh, do the following operations that uh, we take the last element from the array list we put at that index and then we remove the last element now let's move to next operation so the next operation is insert 2 so this time 2 is already present in a map so simply return false we don't need to add them and then the next uh, operation is get random so when get random is called only one element is there so the array size array list size is uh, one so we get an uh, an a number uh, zero between zero and less than one so we get only zero so we return this two so we randomly return two so now you can see we can achieve uh, all these three operations we have done all these three operations in constant time in o1 time so this is the uh, logic behind this approach and now let's see the get random method as well so if you see here is the get random method where uh, we are calling uh, uh, we are asking to give me the uh, random number between 0 to uh, list dot size so this list dot size is not included it means when we pass the size let's say the size is 5 so it will give you the random number between 0 to 4 so in this way all the these three operation insert remove and get random is in o1 time complexity so that's it for this video tutorial and if you know any other approach to solve this problem you can let us know through your comment so that uh, anybody who is watching this video get the benefit uh, from the approach you mentioned uh, in the comment section so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe to our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https://webdrive.com thanks for watching this video